Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode with Pasta Queen. Before I get into one of my favorite recipes out of my new cookbook, the Pasta Queen a just gorgeous cookbook, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you know when a recipe or anything else comes out on this channel. Without further ado, let me introduce you to one of the classics one of the most gorgeous, world-renowned recipes of all time, carbonara. If you have my cookbook, the link is down below, and you scroll to page 39, you will find the most amazing recipe that you'll ever taste. My carbonara recipe. This is a very detailed breakdown on how to make it without clamping without scrambling the eggs, and safe. Now for this recipe today, just as I use in my photo here in the cookbook, we are using a spaghetti. Now this spaghetti is extra long and is also extra thick, so we call it spaghettone, a very large spaghetti shape. We're going to create the perfect surface that will absorb and cuddle and embrace your carbonara sauce and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make it in only 15 minutes. Today, we have guanciale, not pancetta, not regular bacon. It's a special part of the pig, which is the jowl. Now, my rule of thumb is to use about one egg yolk per person and one extra whole egg. Then we have pecorino romano cheese. Now, this is a nine month aged pecorino. It's got a lot of moisture and it'll be easier for it to melt. Now, it's very important that you actually do not get pre-ground pepper. You want whole peppercorns and you wanna grind them just before they go in. When you get it in a bottle already ground, it's probably been sitting there under God knows what climate temperatures, and sometimes they, it loses the punch. So I'm going a quarter to half an inch width when I'm cutting, okay? There's a lot of people that do it their own way. I personally like to be able to have that crispy guanciale, but not a huge chunk that sometimes becomes overpowering. So I don't want very thick, large pieces, but this, it's perfect, okay? And now we cut them about three quarter, uh, actually probably half an inch wide strips, vertical strips, okay? So just like this, look. I put them one on top of the other, I'm saving time, and I cut them just like this vertically. Okay, now in the pan, low to medium flame, and we season it. Now you do not want to over crisp your guanciale bacon. You want it tender, you want it crunchy, right on the edge from being charred. You do not want something powdery to break in your mouth when you're eating that sauce, when you're savoring the spaghetti carbonara. Follow along, I'm gonna show you exactly the right moment you need to switch it off and be done with it. Very important, just toss it about so that they're evenly distributed into your frying pan. You let them go now, you let them release that flavor, remember, we are keeping everything. And that's what we do here on this channel. It's time to add the four eggs, three yolks and one whole. I'm making a dish for three people. Going a little bit extra. What you wanna do is separate the white from the egg yolk, okay? So have a little container on the side. We are just dividing by using the eggshell in halves, and then you have the egg yolks and it goes in. Perfect. After the three egg yolks have gone in, one whole eggs. Remember, this is for the pot. Pot wants carbonara as well. The guanciale is literally right there. 
Before we make our sauce, the pasta water is boiling. We salt it. Shh. The pasta in. Gorgeous. You know, the spaghetti goes in in the hot boiling water. It starts instantly to soften up. Now you push them down fully. While these cook, and these are spaghettoni, so they take a little long, we've got all the great time in the world to make our egg yolks, pecorino, and pepper sauce. You see what I'm using here? This is a cheese grater. You're grating the entire piece. The more, the better, okay? Now, the fine pecorino romano. Gorgeous. Whisk. It needs to be beautiful, creamy, smooth. The guanciale goes in with its rendered fat. Not all of it, three quarters of what you got in the pan goes in this. The rest we keep for emulsifying altogether. Perfect. Now mix it all together, give it a toss, okay? Without breaking the guanciale, so use a spoon. Perfect, so nice. Now, of course, you're gonna use, uh, if you got it, a pepper meal, but I wanted to be super fancy today. So I'm taking my whole peppercorns and I'm sticking them in a mortal and pestle. And we're going to start. Pepper is done. We add a little bit of pepper here. Mix it in smooth. By this time, the pasta is done. It's extra al dente. What do we do? We add it to the pan. And the pan that has the guanciale cooked in it, completely cooled off, off the fire, a little bit of the fat and the guanciale pieces. Now it's the time to use that cream. The cream that you've been working. Mamma mia! It needs to be like a passionate toss in all directions. Oh my goodness! Look at this. Just, you know, that's how you twist the right spaghetti on a fork. It's gorgeous! Leave a comment down below. Tell me when you made this carbonara and how was it? Did you see how it did not clamp? Follow the procedures, stay gorgeous. You are amazing. Mm.